Michael Wilds from Englewood. Once again, Mayor, thanks for joining us today on Take Pleasure. 10. Pleasure. Now, you are a former federal prosecutor, and also back in 1999, you were asked to testify um, as an immigration attorney, which you are right now, about terrorism, anti-terrorism. Now, did you see it coming? Did you and, and others see this, this coming? And what do we see in the future in terms of terrorism? These wounds of war, as it were, began, in my opinion, and many others, uh, in the late 1970s, when Khomeini took over the American embassy in Iran. We saw a rooting of individuals in our soil who had not entered the United States lawfully or had entered the United States lawfully and had overstayed and, and bootstrapped themselves, Jennifer, in ways that Congress never contemplated. We saw diplomats, clerics, students, people overstaying visas with impunity, saying that they were going to go to Disney World, go to schools, and then not do either. And there was no way, there was nobody that was actually tracking the people while they were here. People could enter and depart undetected. It's extraordinary that even today, we don't have a departure control in the United States. So in 1999, I was asked by Congress to come testify and offer testimony. And if you go to that testimony, which is available on the internet, you'll see some of the things that I said. And I concluded that what had happened in 1993 at the World Trade Center could very well happen again if we don't assess our vulnerability and figure out a way to capture these guys. And the, and the challenge facing our nation right now, whether you're Democrat or Republican or Independent, is to have that careful calibration where we control our borders without eradicating that which distinguishes us as a, an immigrant society. We were born on the backs of immigrants. And yet we seem to be polarized in the effort to combat terrorism now. And it's very, it's very upsetting to me to see what's going on with this election. It's very upsetting and yet it's very heartening in other ways to see how the citizens of our nation have mobilized in a way to combat this, but our leadership seems to be devoid of any character. So you feel that maybe we have, the, the leadership here in the country has learned nothing from the time? Well, you know, again, people are battening down the hatches. They are watching some of the issues. Mohammed Atta, for example, was stopped on a motor vehicles violation, and we see all the Department of Motor Vehicles throughout our nation changing the driver's license cards and cracking down on people that are here illegally and the like. But the question is, in this crackdown effort, are we forgetting the very character and liberty that we establish ourselves on? And are we forgetting, bottom line, in this coming election, when you see people arguing about a war that took place 30 years ago, whether or not we're using this war on terrorism as a challenge or a tool to get someplace politically? What I learned from 9-11 is business as usual, whether it's nationally, internationally, or even locally, is not acceptable. And that our citizens expect our leaders to be more focused and precise and not political. And what concerns me about everything from our immigration controls to watching the scores of shipments that come into our country and to all the other vulnerabilities that have not yet been assessed, that our nation is taking a back seat in this war. We see New York police officers and firefighters a lot more prepared than we see people in Bergen County. And, you know, it goes from the practical uniform that they have from the gas masks and the body suits to the actual training that they have. I went uh, to a conference of mayors in Jerusalem this past May where I saw a democratic society that lives with this terrorism and actually had a chance to confront this head on. And of course, people can learn more about, you know, immigration law and your visits to Jerusalem and um, actually your uh, testimony in 1999 on michaelwilds.org. And of course, once again, you have that dedication ceremony of the 9-11 Memorial in Inglewood taking place at the Inglewood Public Library, 3 p.m. this Friday. We hope that everybody will come, bring their children and their family members, and will spend time in the photo exhibit, which is stunning. Mayor Michael Wilds, thanks for joining us today on Take 10. Pleasure. And thank you for joining us as well. Stay tuned for more Channel 10 News. More sports and weather are coming up next.